guys welcome back to Arna Lacarte. Today I'm going to be opening up another Smart Art Box which if you haven't seen Smart Art is a monthly subscription art box. They choose art supplies that maybe I never tried before or have even heard about. So let's open up this box and see what's inside. This one's this one is really heavy too. Removing the tissue paper and we have a little pamphlet that tells us all about the products and how to use them. We'll put that aside. And here is what is inside. So oh, this is what was causing such weight. This is compass stone. Harder than plaster, smoother than cement. Ooh, I've never used anything like this before. Then we have a remelt to reuse reusable mold making maker. That's very interesting. We have a couple of different paints. So I have a crafter's acrylic paint in black, a deco art metallic paint in copper, a deco metallic paint in emperor's gold, a deco metallic paint in bronze and ooh, this one looks like a same one bonus I got two of those <laughs> then we got a pack of paint brushes so there is a fine point a rounded and a flat headed paintbrush and then this cute little owl he's like so he's like a little ceramic maybe he's the same stuff as this. I don't know. So that's everything that was in the box for this month. I'm going to go ahead and read through this brochure and find out what it is I'm supposed to do with all this. So I started off by taking the actual mold out of this packaging and cutting it up into little bits and then went and used a cup. From the looks of it, I thought it looked like one of those like party cups. So I got one. And you have to microwave it, so I got mine, but uh, no, it must not have been a party cup because mine melted. So <laughs> don't use a party cup. Instead of using the owl, I'm going to go ahead and use this seashell here that I found on the beach. I also have a smaller container to put my shell in, so my shell fits nice and flatly in there. So let's go ahead and pour this on top. There we go. And now we just let this sit and wait. You can either let this sit and chill normally. Oh, we have air bubbles coming out. We got air bubbles. There we go. So you can either let this chill on its own or you can put it in the refrigerator or freezer. Um, just be careful not to actually freeze it and let it uh, chill that way. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a molding. So it's nice and hard again. Now I just gotta figure out how to get it out of here. While I'm struggling to get this mold out of its container, let me just go over a couple of other things. First thing is that the little owl that they sent along is something that you could use to mold if you don't have something that you already want to make a cast out of. They provided that as well. But you could use a lot of different things. The one thing that you want to take into consideration is that the molding goo is really hot. So if the item that you want to cast is delicate or easily melted, you may not want to choose to do that. Second thing is that there may be an easy way to get this out, but I don't know what it is. And I spent way more time than I should have trying to get this out, but perseverance, you guys, perseverance, I will get this out. Come on. <laughs> It'll do it. Come on, we're gonna do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's done. Got a little molding in there. All right, now to actually get it to come away from the shell. That's the next thing. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So there is the mold of my seashell. So part one of this experiment been successful. I've got these boogers all over my finger. All right, next is the compass stone. Comp 
the stone. I don't need much to fill this up, so I only need just a little bit of this. Okay, so I have this little tray here. All right, so I'm not very good at measuring. We're going to do our best. So there's our mixture there. I'm going to do the very best that I can, so I'm going to use this very scientific shell scoop. It's what all the mermaids use to measure. I'm going to make a nice, even shell. So there's one. And... Two and then half of a shell. Looks like that's a good little half. So two and a half of those to one part water. It's time for the messy mat. Dun dun dun. Messy mat to the rescue. There we go. And our stick of stirring. I'm gonna mix this together. I still feel that I'm doing this so unprofessionally, but I think I'm doing this realistically. So if I can succeed at this, you can succeed at this. This looks really thick. I don't know how this is pourable. Like a spoon it would be so helpful right now of a stick. All right, I'm gonna get really messy and make mistakes. I'm gonna put my fingers in this cement because I have baby wipes. For those of you who have watched my videos and know the type of art I appreciate and like to do, will know that one art form that I don't like to do is anything that gets my hands really dirty. Yeah, so this probably wouldn't be something that, unless I would have had the smart art box, that I would even try. And that's what I really like about these boxes. They push me as an artist. It looks like a really disgusting flan. Or is it flan? Move that out of the way. Clean my finger. Oh, that came off really nice. Yay! We'll let this cure and come back in a couple hours and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's been drying for about three or four hours, so I'm going to peel it away and we'll hope for the best. We're going to let it dry overnight. So it's really firm and see what it looks like in the morning. All right, so I have let this dry for a couple of days so that it's completely cured. So the next step is to choose one of the paints that they sent along and paint our little seashell. There are a lot of different ways that you can use the paints to paint your creation. Let me give you an example of a really cool way you can do this using the owl. First take and cover it completely in the black craft paint. Let that dry completely. Choose one of the metallic paints to gently brush in over top of that. What it's going to do is the black paint is going to seek into all the crevices and corners while lightly brushing over the metallic paint is just going to hit the highlights and give it this really cool effect. So I'm really interested to see what the emperor gold color looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit into this dish. Again I'm on my messy mat because you never know if you're gonna be messy. And I really like these paint brushes. They have, I don't know, I like the weight. They're not super heavy. First you want to just make sure that there's no flaky ends that might break off. And then we're going to go ahead and just with a dry brush just paint this on. I really like this color. You could, of course, paint the back if you wanted to, but what I think I'm going to do is I have some magnets. I'm gonna hot glue a magnet on the back of this. I think this would make a really cool little decoration. Definitely an art project I would have never tried on my own. I'm really glad I got to try it. I'm not exactly sure how I would implement this into my type of art, 
but I like the fact that the Smart Art Box kind of pushed me out of my art bubble and tried something new because you never know. You try something and you're like, um, this is amazing medium. I want to do this all the time. So if you guys are finding that you're in kind of an artish slump, you don't know what to create or what to do with art, you might want to consider giving a smart art box a go. And I just want to say thank you to the smart art company for sponsoring this video. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.